Hello! How are you guys doing? So, today is kind of like the very first official day, let's say, of preparation for International Mess. This is going to be such an exciting experience. I literally cannot wait. This has been my dream since I'm eight years old, literally. I thought I was never going to be able to compete in an international pageant because of my height. And here I am, turning my dreams into reality at 34 years old. Guys, it's never too late to chase your dreams. So, yeah, sorry that my hair is a little bit of a mess. I'm just, after this, I'm gonna go to do my steps. And it's been raining today. It's not been the most amazing day, so. Eh. So I have a call now with my director, Lucinda, and with Harriet, my coach. And we're just gonna go through the handbook, start organizing things, making sure that we have everything in place and we start working on what we are missing to make sure that we can hopefully get that international crown to the UK. This is my very first time um, starting to do my routine for International Mess. Um, we had to change a little bit my walk to make it more um, like the American style of pageantry walking. And as you can see, it's not that easy. Um, you know, it's difficult to remove some of the um, old ways of walking and turning and things like that. And it's it's normal that it's not going to be perfect the first time that you try it this is why practice makes perfect and here is me telling Harriet that yeah my feet are going everywhere and I need to work on that <laughs> right before we started practicing I tried on Eden's dress from Miss GB this is the one that I had my heart set into for being my final scout at internationals I tried it on, I was a bit scared that it was not going to fit, but yeah, it 100% fit. Um, obviously, I was like way bigger than what I was going to be on stage, so I knew it was going to look way nicer once I lost um, some of the weight and start training um, properly again because my training was all over the place. And I really, really loved it. However, I was a bit um, concerned that this dress was going to take the whole of my carry-on suitcase. So there was another dress that they brought, which is Harriet's Miss International UK dress. Um, I put it on just to see how I felt because also we were gonna have that red photo shoot and I loved it. I felt amazing in this dress. And um, to be honest, I was kind of like debating for a good month which was going to be my final dress and um, yeah as you can see this was the dress and I am so happy I went for it well that's a zip thing just a bit at the bottom yeah let's see I don't know this one however the type of backing with it. Oh. Ah, so it does, it's, oh, this is yeah. as much as it is. Ah, okay. So it's just that. I felt like we still had to see no, all of this, no. and I was like, oh, no, 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 that's that. Ah, so it's just like, that, like, we can just make it like as big as Now is the very first time that I am practicing this routine by myself in the studio and this is something that I did basically every other day. So whenever I was training back, because usually when I train back I don't take that much time at the gym, I use half an hour to practice, put on my heels and make sure that I nail that routine. It's not perfect and it was not perfect until the last, last day of practicing but you know, you need to do it and you need to practice to get better. There we go. That's the hair. <laughs> Pretty. <laughs> the volume is official. <laughs> Bam. <laughs> A 
and here we have the last practice in person before New York. Um, the routine was much better. We polished a few um, details here and there to make sure the routine was 100% perfect. Um, and yes, I was really happy with the way the swimwear routine um, came out. I was really confident walking on those high heels, which I was not at the beginning, let me tell you. Um, and it's good to have someone record you as well and then give you feedback, um, which is what um, Harriet is doing here, basically. As I said, fine-tuning certain things. Um, after the swimwear, we pass on to the fashion routine, we just put in my new um, overskirt that I just picked up that day. So I was really excited to see how it turned out, um, which was great. Not very keen on wearing it too much because it's white and it was getting dirty. <laughs> but oh well, this is the things that you need to do. And it's very important to practice in your outfits before the, the big day because an outfit that you have not practiced in will 100% change the way that you walk and it's not going to make you confident on the stage. You may even look sloppy. Um, and let me tell you, when I'm judging, I can 100% tell when a girl has practiced in their outfit and when she hasn't. So make sure that you get that practice in, um, especially because sometimes you might have to change the shoes. Um, this is something that you're going to be able to see later on in this routine. Um, these are the shoes that I was going to wear. Also, obviously, I'm training with this bodysuit because I forgot my whole outfit. So on the swimwear, I was supposed to be wearing my swimwear and here my white um, dress, but I forgot it at home. And it's like a four and a half hour drive to Harriet's. So obviously, when I realized halfway, I was not going to come back to get it. So we're practicing with what it is. Um, so as I was saying, it's very important to practice with your shoes, um, if you can practice as well with your jewelry, to make sure that the whole outfit is one, cohesive, and two, that you are able to do your whole routine with everything that you have. Because as you can see here, now, <laughs> goodbye. <laughs> These shoes were not the shoes for me. Um, so I ended up changing them, getting like lower shoes for this because practicing with the skirt was really clear that they were getting stuck. It's bright. Whew. Well, it's about time that we start packing for New York. And this is my <laughs> face right now. And uh, I need to go into that room over there. I need to start tackling the mess and start packing. Oh no, no, no. It's one of the things that really annoys you, the mess, but it gives you anxiety at the same time to organize the mess. So <laughs> let's go and do it. Oh, I'm off now. Now, in this suitcase, we need to put absolutely every single one of my outfits, makeup and shoes that I'm going to need for the finals because we cannot afford a suitcase to be lost. And in that suitcase is going to go absolutely everything else that if it comes late, get lost and comes later, it's not really going to affect anything. So yes, operation, trying to fit absolutely everything in that suitcase. So, every single outfit and shoe, wish me luck. Suitcases 
fingers, fingers crossed. Uh, oh, I'm so scared. I am literally so tired. I haven't slept much. I have like a patch here in my head of hair that has fallen, I think from stress. And you know, like the thing that stresses me out the most is like not being able to be left on the plane with all my stuff that I need or they saying whatever. So I'm trying to be extra cautious, making sure that I weigh everything, making sure that I have absolutely everything as it should be. So, fingers crossed. <laughs> ah.